and welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And today I am extremely excited to share with you a recipe that I just stumbled onto over the weekend. Um, I'm all about getting in your kitchen, just throwing stuff together and, you know, seeing what you come up with. And I came up with an amazing recipe. A little bit of background about this. Um, it's my husband's 50th birthday. Yay. Love him to death. Um, we had a big celebration for the Memorial Day weekend as well. Lots of company. So um, he wanted something to do with cream cheese. I had a, like an array of desserts and I wanted like some type of strawberry cream cheese dessert without going and making the whole nine yards of a cheesecake. So what I threw together was a strawberry cream cheese trifle and it was phenomenal. I kid you not. Um, I just whipped it together and it was I'm just so proud of myself it was just it was the shit I'm telling you it was the shit um, but today I want to bring this recipe share this recipe with you because it was so good and today I'm making a different variation of it because I have a few things that I discovered in my refrigerator so that's what um, that's how great recipes are discovered or formed is that you just Go in your refrigerator, pull stuff out, and just start throwing stuff together. And that's what I'm doing today. And I can't wait to try this. Can't wait to share this with you. So easy to make. Um, instead of just the strawberry cream cheese trifle, I'm throwing in some pineapples and a little bit of um, some chocolate chips. And oh Jesus, I can't even. Let's just let's just get started. Okay, what you need is some cream cheese at room temperature. Yeah, there's fingerprints. I've been poking around to make sure it's room temperature. See, but my fingers are clean. You know, whatever. Um, and you need some powdered sugar and some fresh strawberries and I've got some pineapple here pineapple chunks and I reserved a little bit of the pineapple juice um, from the can and that's I'll show you what we're gonna do with that uh, I've also set aside some uh, of the beautiful strawberries the prettier strawberries so we can decorate the top and here um, some chocolate chips yummy 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 and then we have some uh, vanilla I need some vanilla I got to buy me some and we have some lemon. We're gonna use just a little tiny bit of lemon juice and we're gonna do a little bit of the um, lemon, um, you know, we're gonna shred a little bit of the lemon peel into it, just a little bit, just enough to make it, you know, bam. That stuff is good. And then I've got some heavy whipping cream. Now I've got my heavy whipping cream in the refrigerator because you need that to be really super cold. So uh, make sure you pull that out last. And then I've got some, just some dessert shells. Now over the weekend I used uh, the angel food cake but this will work. This will work perfectly. I promise you, it's gonna be amazing. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cream cheese here and your powdered sugar and you're gonna um, combine it together. And I like to do about three fourths cup of the powdered sugar with one packet of cream cheese. Now when I made this, this is how big of one I made. I used four packs of cream cheese. That's, that's how big a bowl I made this and it was, it was the it was the it was the, the show bomber whatever you want to call it but what you want to do is combine your um, powdered sugar in with your cream cheese now what I like to do is um, about three-fourths cup to one oh and it's gonna powder all over my pretty new dress but we're gonna combine this well and then I'll show you the next steps Okay, that is absolutely perfect. We're not going to worry about the sides. We'll scrape them in just a little bit. And what you're going to do is add just a little bit of vanilla to this. Just a little bit. And then you're going to continue to mix it thoroughly. Now the sour cream is gives it just a, I don't know what it gives it, but it gives it an amazing flavor. It kind of takes away from the sweetness. It kind of adds just a little bit of a tartness to it, a um, little bit of sourness to it. You're going to go ahead and combine that in with your cream cheese mixture. And again, mix that very well. Okay, that is perfect. Well combined. And then what you're going to do is in a nice, clean bowl, you are going to add your whipping cream and again your whipping cream needs to be extremely cold look at that it's really extremely cold and then you're going to add just a couple little squirts 
of lemon juice and we're gonna use this. I believe in recycling the lemon. Hey, and listen, don't, you're gonna mix this until it's nice and has nice big peaks on it. Don't bother to clean this off, you know, since you've had it in there because it's okay. They're all gonna combine well together. So we're gonna beat this until it has um, nice big stiff peaks. All right, that is absolutely beautiful. Perfect. See what I mean? It almost looks like Cool Whip. Look at that. Perfect. And what you're going to do is you're going to combine it in with your cream cheese mixture. This is such a simple recipe, and you're talking about something cheap to make. If you're looking to make something, you know, cost efficient and that serves a lot of people, this is on the menu. And it's amazing. I promise you. Go ahead and just fold that in. Combine it well. Such a quick and easy recipe. Then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna grate in just a little bit of lemon pill. Plenty, and then we're gonna use just a little bit. I'm not going to use all of this. It's just a little bit of the pineapple juice that I reserved. And it's just going to give it a, just a hint of the pineapple flavor to go with the pineapples that we are putting in it. Go ahead and combine that. Oh, this is so good. So good. I can't wait for you to try this. It smells amazing. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. Now you don't want to make this ahead of time because it does need to be refrigerated for about four to six hours. So go ahead and make it the day before if you would like. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place some of our strawberries on the bottom. Just a few of them, not a whole lot, and then you're just gonna start layering it. I should have used a bigger spoon, but that's okay. Just put it right on there. And if you really wanted to go the extra mile, you know, get you some chocolate sauce to drizzle over it. But I think the chocolate chips are going to be perfect because it's going to add just a little bit of a crunch to that creaminess. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and top it with a few stra or strawberries pineapples here. Not a lot, just enough to give it a bite. And then a little bit of the chocolate. And then you're just going to continue to layer it. be easier just to do it this way. The bowl that I made was like four times the size, I kid you not. And once you get your first layer on there and you put a little bit more of the cream cheese on there, you can go ahead now. If you want to tear these apart, that's fine. If you want to leave them whole, I like to tear them. Um, it doesn't matter if they're real big, real little, whatever size you want. And just go ahead and throw them right on there. You don't need a whole lot of them. That gets you a nice cakey center going. Make sure there's a little bit in every bite. Oh, that smells so good. Maybe a half of one. Perfect. Now let's do a little bit more. So I'm all about adding the extras. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the remaining of our cream cheese mixture on there just to soften the bread up a little bit. Just kind of 
spread it around. Push this right down into that other layer of the uh, cream cheese mixture. And then you're going to add just some strawberries. And you can put a few of them, just like I said, the ones that are reserved, just to make it really pretty. That's not a very pretty one. Let's take that one out right over top of it and you're just going to cover every little bit of that with your strawberries and your pineapples and your chocolate of course take your pineapples right over top of it oh I love pineapples I gotta have one mm -mm 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 -mm. especially chilled I love them chilled And the juice from the pineapples is going to sink right down into there. Mm, 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 mm. Perfect. I gotta have one more. Here we go. Mm. I love pineapples. And then just take your chocolate and drizzle it right on top. Now, look at that. And don't forget to kick back a few. Kick back a few. Oh. We've got to keep our free here, you know. Look at that. In the refrigerator um, for about four to six hours. And then we'll come back and we're going to dig in. I mean, look at this. Okay, it's refrigerated for about four and a half hours. And I'm just going ahead and dig me just a little bite out of there. And I'm not taking a lot because this is going to be our dessert tonight. But you get the gist of it. Look at that. The strawberries, the pineapples. You get a bite of all of it together. The cake, that. I'm going to try it. Mmm. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I promise you, you are going to love this. Your kids are going to love it. Your husband's going to love it. Your mom's going to love it. Your daddy's going to love it. Everybody's going to love it. Make sure you try this. You can get this written recipe at inthekitchenwithsandy.blogspot.com. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think about it when you try it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to ARU on... Are we on? <laughs> yeah. Is this thing rolling? <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome back to... A